this is Byron Stripling here, Bobby Floyd right there, and this is Off Stage Live. He's got the whole world in his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the little bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the little bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the little bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Well, if religion was a thing that money could buy, the whole world in his hands. Well, the rich would live and the poor would die. The whole world in his hands. Oh, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. famous by the great Miss Mahalia Jackson. And you know, when she first started singing, she would stomp her feet, she would clap her hands, and she would moan and grunt. Some people were taken uh, aback by this, but she said she wanted to do everything she could do to express the things that were in her heart. There was another song that she used to sing, and she sang it with so much passion. This little girl, Mahalia from New Orleans, and maybe you'll remember this one. She used to say, and now just, uh, just a closer walk with thee. Yeah, now granted Jesus is my plea. And now daily, daily walking close to thee. Ah, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. And when I was a little boy, we used to sing, Now I, I am weak, but thou art strong. Hey, now Jesus keeps me from all wrong. Well, now I'll, I'll be satisfied as long as I walk, as I walk close to thee. Yeah, 
she said, just, just a closer walk with thee. Now granted, Jesus is my plea. And now daily, daily walking close to thee. Oh, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. Dear Lord, let it be. Oh, yeah. Well, we thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We continue with songs of hope and inspiration today. And I want to let you hear one of the great organists in the world. He's my favorite organist, and I want him to be your favorite organist. He's Columbus's favorite organist, and the incomparable Mr. Bobby Floyd, and he gives you his rendition of How Great Thou Art. <laughs> Thank you. 
great Bobby Floyd, ladies and gentlemen. And we want you to know, because we've played all these songs today, you don't have to go to church next Sunday. You're excused. We have passes for everybody. However, we do want you to send into your collection next Sunday. I wish I could hear you laughing, but I can't. So we have a couple announcements. First of all, thanks for all of those who gave to the Big Give. Uh, and that was very successful for the Jazz Arts Group and the Columbus Jazz Orchestra. Because of you, our educational programs will continue. Our performances will continue. And we can't wait to get back to performing for you. We want to remind you that there's a few other events that we'd love you to check out right here. Uh, first of all, these are a couple ones that you have to register for. Go to jazzartsgroup.org slash events. And on Monday, you have Masterclass Mondays. And you have to register for that one at that website. And then on Tuesday, you have listening sessions this week with Ryan Hamilton. It's all with, always with CJO members. So you'll have listening sessions. And then Thursday, we have the great Zach Compton who will present a drummer's roundtable. Is that right? And we want you to know that Zach and Alexa are here helping us make these programs possible. They have since the beginning of this pandemic and shutdown. And they've made all of these viewings possible for us. And then finally, Saturday at noon, and I think we're collaborating on PBJ with, with the library, is that? So we collaborate with the library for PBJ and Jazz, and that's next Saturday at noon. We want you to like and share this video. If you like what you're hearing, if you like how Bobby Floyd has already lifted and inspired us, uh, then you will want to share this with your friends. So please like and share those videos. Um, and Bobby, we thank you so much for your artistry on all these programs. You simply are, Tina Turner used to say that, simply the best. Right, better than all the rest. That's Bobby Floor for you. The inspiration continues. There are certain people that are brought into this world to give music to people. And uh, we have one such young man with us today. He is also a star in Columbus, and to me, one of the great stars anyway that you will ever hear. He's talented on the keyboards, on the saxophones, and as a vocalist, there are no, there's nobody close to what he does. He's imbued with a special thing in his spirit, and when you hear him, you are immediately enriched and lifted and inspired, and that's why we wanted him for these programs today. He, uh, he was put on this earth and this world, given to this world, to sing and to help people through his song. And so we want you to say hello to the great Phil Clark coming in right now, the great Phil Clark. Hey, everybody. And thank you, Byron, for having me come in here. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear that pitter pat? And that happy toot is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street I used to walk in the shade with the blues on parade but now I'm not afraid you see this rover has crossed over if I never had a cent why I'd be rich as Rockefeller with gold dust at my feet on the sunny side of the street. Thank you. 
The gold dust at my feet On the sunny side of the street On the sunny side of the street On the sunny Sunny On the sunny On the sunny Sunny side of the street to find a way to bring some love in here today father father we don't need to escalate no war is not the answer only love can conquer hate you see We've got to find a way to bring some understanding here today. Picket line, picket sign, don't punish me with brutality. Just talk to me and we can see, hey, what's going on, what's going on? What's going on?
beautiful to me. so beautiful to me. I, you know, I think our audience would be interested to know a little bit about your background. There's one thing I do know, that you started out here in Columbus, and I, I wonder if he's watching, probably not, uh, but your band director uh, was in the Columbus Jazz Orchestra. Yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis, we call <coughs> him Pat. Right, I know. I, I learned his name like years like later. Like years yeah, later. Yeah, when I the first time I played with Columbus Jazz Orchestra, right. I, remember I knew his name was. And Pat. did he did he start you on? Because he's in middle school. Was that middle yeah, school that, that you? That was middle school. See, I had come from a a, 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 a private school. We uh, we were um, taught at our church right. <coughs> for a long time. So it was a really small uh, group of people that, that was there. It was kind of almost like the youth group of the church through that mm -hmm. time. And then I uh, went, went to uh, the public schools down there, and, and he just he, he, he actually kind of showed me the fingering on the saxophone. My dad did, but he, uh, Mr. Lewis, right. really helped me a lot. Yeah. I, he was my, you know, everybody's got their favorite teacher. Mr. Lewis. Well, let's hope he's listening. Yeah, I hope you are. I, I, I'd love to see you again. I, yeah. And I miss seeing everybody so much. Well, I, I got to see, right before we did the shutdown, I got to see Pat in Naples. I actually happened oh, to be yeah. working in Naples, and he and his wife came to see us, and so yeah. it was great. So as you proceeded on, what got you into the singing? Continue playing. What got you? You're, playing, you're singing like gigs on your own. You're with Hoodoo Soul Band, other bands like that. What brought that, and what are some of your influences that brought you there? Well, and all it really started out in in, uh, in certainly in church because <coughs> the the uh, the church denomination that I was from was really focused on music. You know, like the worship services were really lively and everything. Yeah. 
And I, I really had an affinity for it right out of the shoot. I was like, whoa. Yeah. I mean, it really affects people. That, I mean, I just, it, it was just such a, uh, an immense calling to me to want to mm-hmm. do it. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't, and I guess, you know, uh, thankfully Prince came along and showed us all that you could play everything, you know, so I was like, well, you know, I would try all that stuff, too, so I, I That's like... That's right, because you play some keyboards, too. I, yeah, I like playing anything I can get my hands on. I've been, the only thing, you can ask my wife, Marley, the only thing I practice right now is the drums, you know, and you can ask, also ask my neighbors, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they've been calling us. Yeah, I <laughs> have. <laughs> so, but... So then coming in and hearing some of that music, what were some of those early influences I hear? Like, uh, did you do any Andre Crouch? Oh, big time, yeah. It yeah. was Andre Crouch, uh, Walter Hawkins, you know. Uh, Walter Hawkins? Haw- yeah, what about uh, Edwin Hawkins? Oh, sure, yeah, the yeah. Hawkins family, all that. What's you know, your favorite Andre song. Crouch song? Uh, my tribute, I think. <coughs> to God uh, be the to glory. To God be the glory, just, you know, for the words. You know, like a, a lot, I guess a lot of times uh, as we get into playing instruments, we've, we, we, some of us, even though I sing a lot, I, I, I don't, I never paid attention to the words first. Right. Yeah. But with a song like that, that is, that's, that's kind of my yeah. anthem as well. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm really nothing on my own in my, in, in my, in my faith and in my opinion. It's by the grace of God I'm even living right now. Sure, so I hear you. Bam. <laughs> and any Walter Hawkins favorites? <coughs> um, follow me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know that. One. I got to check. Do you know that one, Bobby? No, that follow me. All right, do you reach far back? As I hope you all don't mind if we reminisce for one second. Do you reach as far back as, like, James Cleveland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. James Cleveland, sure. Okay. I remember on, on, in Columbus, uh, every Sunday morning, they had the, the, uh, the gospel caravan on WCVO. And I, I woke up every Sunday morning listening to that, and I got, I got hipped to James Cleveland and uh, ton, tons of Jesse sure. Dixon, you know, who yeah. I, you know. Yeah. The list goes on. You were talking about the Clark sisters before. Yeah, oh, Twinkie Clark, and yeah. Oh, I got to play with her once. Yeah. Wow. See, you've got a wide repertoire, but it goes beyond that. Uh, you have sung with the Columbus Jazz Orchestra, Sinatra. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like, you know, I hear, when you first told me that, like, we did a gig together, you play, sang with the Columbus Jazz. I don't know what s- songs you were doing. It was some pop things. Incredible. You, like, pulled me aside. Hey, hey man, I'd love to do some Sinatra w- with you guys. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I didn't fully like like what do you like and then you yeah. tore it up. Well, I saw Sinatra down in uh, in Grove City uh and I think it was it was 89 or 90 whenever he was there um and I was the 11th row center. I had the mayor of Grove City seats because wow. it was raining that night. Mm-hmm. And then the usher said rain or shine. He's he's playing. I'm like, "Wait a minute. Is he playing rain or shine or is <laughs> what are you talking about?" <laughs> But he came out and the, and all the clouds parted and this huge moon came out. It was it was a fabulous night. So wow. I, was, I was kind of in love with the Sinatra sound. So I know you're a Sinatra fan. Mm-hmm. Give me two more. You're an Al Jarreau guy. Oh, big time. Yeah. 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 Favorite Al Jarreau song? Uh, I will be here for you. I think that tops them all. But there's so many so many great ones. You ever heard him do Spain? Yes. Oh yeah. He sings like all the words really I fast. I, I, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, we may have been talking about earlier. Hit uh, one uh, on, on accentuate the positive. He did with a, a with an orchestra and a big band, yeah. and he did the the lyrics for Waltz for Debbie. That's right. And he and he did the the solo, uh, s- uh, but with words to it, yeah. kind of describing uh, her. You know, put her nineties on and stuff. It's yeah. beautiful. beautiful. Can I tell music. everybody about? I've worked with Al Jarreau one time, Count Basie Orchestra, Royal Albert Hall. Al Jarreau walks out for a rehearsal. They said, we need a half an hour for rehearsal. I'm like, well, he's going to do like four or five songs. He's going to need more than that. You know, you got to. And he walked on stage for rehearsal. He went, what do you guys want to do? <laughs> 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 Which yeah. usually the guys bring their charts and they pass them out yeah. and it's very meticulous and they have a musical director. But he came by himself like, what do you guys want to do? And we're like, I don't know. He goes, <laughs> well, <laughs> what about, he goes, I love it when you guys do shiny stockings. Can I sing it with you? He's, we're like, yeah. He goes, we don't have to rehearse it. We're good. We're good. Uh, what about, uh, Karen? and then Frank Foster says, we have an arrangement of all the things you are. Oh, I love that. Let's do that. And we played it once, and he was killed it, and we did every day. I have the blues and a couple more. And it was just like that with Al Jarreau. Yeah. So I understand why you love yeah, it. I Can we go back to, because your, your dad is a preacher. Yeah. I heard he's retired now. He has retired. But he's preachers never easy. retire. No, they don't. They don't. <laughs> if they, they get happy, they'll get up there on the pulpit and start preaching a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. You know? Dad wasn't too active with a whole lot of that. But you know what? You know what most preachers have that, that, uh, that, that many don't think about? They have uh, the, the, uh, the clergy pass for the hospital. Oh, cool. 
and and you yes. know my dad <coughs> my dad was in first name basis you know when he was full time minister you know like yeah matter of fact there was one time uh, I was in there uh, was was some in, in the emergency room with a with a friend and I looked down the hallway and my dad was down there no way. and it's just you know so you know that that's and that's part nothing that's he talked about a lot he just did it you know no he never talked about it you know he's like hey where you at pops you know and he's like well I'm at the hospital you know like so and so sick you know but he w it was it was constantly that way I mean and that that always not too many people really think about that they yeah. think about you know like the Bible pound you know whatever. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's, that's when you ministry. need it the most. That's ministry right there. That is, that's that is. We all need. Well, can you continue to minister us a little bit? There's one that they used to do. Now, who made God Has Smiled on Me popular? Is that, is, it, is that, I, on, I, on I your remember uh, James oh. Cleveland. James I Cleveland? Know. I don't know if he wrote it, but, you know, they had a real, they, I think his, James Cleveland was his God, uh, God uncle or something. Okay. Uh, they had a, they had a song. Yeah, so, so let's do a little bit of God Has Smiled on yeah, Me, and we'll okay. keep our hope and inspiration yes, going. Yes, let's do it. God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. I'm going to sing that again, Bobby. Hey, God has smile on me he has set me free God has smiled on me he's been good to me he's the source of all my joy Fills me with his love And everything that I need He sends it down from above So God has smiled on me He has set me free been good to me a light unto my path is he without God's spirit I would fall and I don't know what he means to you but to me he's my own Smile on me, he has set me free. Oh, God has smiled on me, he's been good, he's been good to me, he's been good. If you think a little bit, think about the good things, maybe.
I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful I see skies of blue and clouds of white, bright blessed day and a dark sacred night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful colors of the rainbow so pretty in the sky also on the faces of people going by I see friends shaking hands saying how do you do they're really saying I love you I hear babies cry, then I watch them grow, they'll learn so much more than I've ever known, and I think to myself, what a wonderful What a wonderful world. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to first say a couple of hellos to uh, good friends, uh, including Lisa Baldridge and Fred Meister. Uh, Barry Levin, we thank you so much for joining in. Uh, and people, we've got people watching from everywhere. We've got people from Columbus, of course. We've got Cincinnati. But then we reach out to Colorado, people watching from Florida, and people watching from Washington. Whoever you are, and for whatever reason you've tuned in, we hope that you've inspired, been inspired and been lifted by the great sounds of Bobby Floyd and the great Phil Clark. We want you to continue to share and like this particular uh, video if you like it and join us uh, next week when we will have the great Pete Mills from Canada. See, we'll have even a writer who reach, but uh, he lives right here in Columbus. So uh, Pete Mills will join us at that time. In the meantime, we want to do one more for you and thank you and let you know how great and glad we are that you joined us for this particular performance. And I think this is Lord Help Me to Hold Out Until My Change Comes. <laughs> change come 
my way may not be easy but you did not say that it would be but when it gets dark i can't find my way you told me to put my trust in thee so i said lord lord help me to hold out Until my change, until. 